Hi everybody, it's Brandon Carr. I just wanted to share with you a couple uh, five success tips for youth hockey players. And I think uh, from my experience, I wanted to share these things with you because there's a lot of information everyone's getting these days, whether it's um, for parents or from coaches or for kids. But I just wanted to share with you uh, five tips that, that I would focus on if I was a youth hockey player. Number one is your work ethic. And uh, really it's the only thing that you really can control at any level is, is your work ethic and what you contribute and what you bring to each practice and each game every week um, is a strong sense of work ethic to get that result that you want to achieve. And I, I'm telling you and being very honest, as you move up, you can't control how much ice time you're going to get or on what team you're going to play on. But the only thing you can control as a player is your work ethic. And so it's very important for kids to understand that these days as opposed to when things aren't going well for them, what, where are they looking to or, or trying to find the solution to their problem? Get back to that strong work ethic and working hard and, and being on time and showing up prepared uh, to get better each day and every practice and every week. And I think at the end of the month and at the end of the season, you're going to be um, happier with yourself with the effort that you gave and, and also is, is learning to have that work ethic in anything that you do. I think second, secondly, the, um, my second tip is uh, a strong uh, sense of discipline. Uh, doing the things that are necessary to do to get the results that you want. Uh, most kids aren't doing, they're not uh, walking the talk and, and, and they say they want to achieve or play on a higher team or play on this particular team but really when you ask yourself are you really doing the things you need to be doing to be at that level or get to where you want to get to and so you have to have that discipline to get up early go to bed uh, maybe a little bit earlier eat less of some junk food or, or look into and watch videos on and study certain players be a student of the game but have that discipline to be better uh, each and every week and, and to grow as a player and as a person um, to ultimately get that result and goal that you want. Uh, thirdly, time management. It's a huge concern I think you know nowadays there's so much going on with with off-ice conditioning, with uh, nutrition, uh, the internet's crazy nowadays and, and so much information I think like maybe kids you have to ask yourself is there some things that you can be doing less of and spending more on your craft or your skills to be better and, and uh, to enhance uh, your position on your particular team. If you're staying up watching TV or coming home from school watching TV for three, four hours a day, maybe you can spend an hour less and, and, and reading a book or watching video of yourself or working on your goals for that particular month. Um, time management is a huge thing and, and I think as kids and parents you have to ask yourself what are you doing with your time? Are you using it to be better or are you hanging around kids or other families that really don't want to get better or move on to that next level and I think you have to be very careful who you surround yourself with uh, if you want to achieve those things. Fourthly, uh, I think monthly reevaluation uh, is the key. I think uh, people miss the boat on this topic. They go through the season um, without really looking back each month. I mean, there's a lot of programs out there. My monthly uh, mentor programs, uh, we reevaluate every two weeks. And it's key to see what's gone well for you as well as what are some of the negative things that you can learn from to be better the next month or next week or next game. I think a lot of uh, kids these days just go through the season and then they have the same approach going into the next season and they, and they expect different results. It just doesn't happen. You have to have constant reevaluation, just like as in parents for you know, businesses, which they do at, at, at big corporations, it's constant. And I think you need to apply that same concept uh, for kids or your child um, to, to look at what's gone well and, and reevaluate yourself uh, monthly. Lastly, the fifth point is for everyone to be patient. It takes time to be good at anything. Uh, you know, a strong work ethic and being patient, having that resilience to sticking with your goal and what you've committed to this season. Whether you're on a great team or whether you're on a poor team, you're committed this season to, uh, to a particular goal or a team. Whether it's a team goal or individually, you can all learn from it. Now, whether it's a positive environment or a negative one, Take that experience and use it moving forward to be better. Maybe next year you'll be in a different situation where you could say, hey, 
this was like this, this is a lot more positive environment, this is a better situation, how can I apply what I learned last year and help me get to where I want to get to? And I think you have to ask yourself that all the time and be patient. For kids, uh, enjoy and just be where you are and enjoy the process and being at the rank. And as a parent, it goes by very quickly. And so, um, you know, I want people to, to take a step back and really enjoy it. I know it's expensive. It's a lot of time. And so uh, I think that's really the importance to really look at this and enjoy your time in, in your particular sport. So those are the five tips, the work ethic, the discipline, the time management, the monthly reevaluation, and being uh, patient and having that resilience, sticking with what you've committed to and what your goals are, and, and everything will turn out uh, the way it's supposed to. Other than that, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.